I am thirsty, which makes this the perfect time to make this video that I've been wanting to make for the last couple of days. Here is my water bottle, okay? Here is my water bottle. You see what it says here? I love you. Thank you, okay? And I'll tell you how I treat my water in a second, but I really, really like to drink this. I really like to drink this. This was amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, <laughs> I'll tell you something, this water wants to be drank by me. Okay, it, like, I can swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I drink this water, <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> you see, I start to laugh. <laughs> I start to laugh. And I start to feel all warm and fuzzy because this water goes in and it's like making love to me in the inside. Okay? I can't tell you how good my shits have been as of late. I can't tell you how amazing I've been feeling as of late. I can't tell you how clear everything is clearing up. My skin, my face, I mean, look, this is a pretty good looking clear, clear face because of the water, the way I've been treating the water and I've been drinking the water as of late. Why am I doing all this hippy-dippy bullshit? Is there anything to this? Or have I just lost my mind? Well, I hope that I have lost my mind. I have been wanting to lose my mind for a long time. And if this is called losing my mind, let it be. Water is a blank slate. Okay, you know that saying by Bruce Lee? Be like water, formless, shapeless. You put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. The water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Because water is such a malleable, flexible, changeable substance. It is a holy substance, okay? It's a blank slate. It's a memory. It's like a USB. It's nature's organic USB. And whatever you install on the USB, it, the water takes in. Okay? So if, if you instill love and appreciation on the water, the molecular structure... Guys, you could go look this up. You could look up the water experiment. You could look into Dr. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Masaro, here, I want to get his name, I always forget his name, Masaro Emoto, there we go, Masaro Emoto, you could look into Dr. Masaro Emoto's work, Japanese, the late Japanese doctor, God bless his soul, and he did, uh, his, he dedicated his entire life for, uh, for the study of water, right, and he observed different molecular structures for water depending on what the water had been subjected to if the water had been subjected to loving intention loving human intention it formed these beautiful wonderful crystals some of the stuff you see in alex gray's uh art psychedelic art some of the stuff you could see yourself on you know doing psychedelics beautiful crystals and then when they subjected the water to hateful intention it showed deformed uh, structures, you know, where something you could look at instantly, you say, that's not beautiful. And the same thing, it goes for anything, for music, 
So they subjected the water to uh, Bach and Beethoven classical music. I mentioned in a previous video in my Uber experience how I found that classical music is objectively and universally well taken by everybody. So much so that I, like I said, when I started playing classical music in my car, I got much better ratings and I got people telling me this is the best Uber drive I've ever had. Simply they told me because of the music. Okay, same thing, they've, sh they've shown that the water, if it's subjected to classical music, it forms these beautiful crystals. And if it's subjected to like heavy metal, and music that's too chaotic, has a chaotic frequency, then it, it, it showed the same deformed structures that it, that it shows if it's subjected to hateful, uh, resentful intentions and words. Okay, and many people have tried the rice experiment you can look into the rice experiment uh, should I explain yeah let's explain it here real quick I'm gonna try it myself basically you cook you cook rice you put them into different jars one jar you're labeled love or I love you the other one is I hate you or you know say something good something evil something you know positive something negative and then every day you talk to the jar of rice you know because it's it, you know you cooked it so it's got the water soaked in and so many people, you just do a rice experiment. So many people have experimented. I'm going to experiment with it and I'll, show, I'll share with you guys the uh, results. Uh, basically, one, one, the one you, you treated with love and appreciation uh, did not show any signs of deterioration. The one you treated and mistreated, basically, it, it turned black and moldy. Okay? It's got to do with the water. It's got to do with the water, right? Uh, and human intention is so powerful. Words are, are, we're all magicians walking around and our magic wands is our mouth, our words, our intention. We don't have to say anything, we just intend it. You just sit there and thank the water. You don't have to say it out loud. And so, uh, like I said, I swear every time I drink this water, I just like literally lose my mind. I become an, like a laughing idiot, feeling all warm and fuzzy. But the way I treat my water, I'm going to show you. I, the way I treat this water is I really like, I really take my time. I really treat, I treat my water and my food, as I'm going to show you here, like I would treat a wifey if I had a wifey. I really would. I mean, really, like, you know, if you had a wifey and you wanted to really show her, like, maximum love, that's how I treat my food. That's, I mean, in a way, I am married to my water and my food at the moment. Really. And I, it's a beautiful, happy marriage. But... I'm telling you, ever since I started doing this, <laughs> I, I can't, I mean, I can't, I, I call it holy water. I turn this into holy water with my rituals. So, let me show you here real quick how I handle the water situation and the food situation because most of your food, especially if you're consuming fruits and vegetables, is water, okay? Like bananas here. I got a banana operation over there. Uh, and you see, and bananas are 75% water. I've got avocados. They're 73% water. And, you know, I got a coconut over there and then I got the water. So, I really take my time with this. So, as you can see here, let's refocus this. It really doesn't want to be refocused. Come on, why are you going to be like that? Okay, anyway. Let's see, does it autofocus? Yeah, it's fine with my face, but for some reason, anyway. Yeah, that's better. So, as you can see here, I've got the bananas there, which is basically, you're looking at 75% water here, right? And I've got all these, you know, things that I really took the time because I understand the importance of this. You know, I, I surround this area with love and appreciation. And I come in here and I sit down for, you know, a, a few minutes, five minutes every day. And I, I, I give it as much love and appreciation as I can. And every time I walk by the, the room, I look at the foods here, I send it in loving, appreciative intentions. And so this is the water here. I've got the three glass. You want to put them in glass bottle, okay? You really do. So I've got this thing here, you know, around every bottle. Thank you. I love you. And this, the, the, the water that I get is basically, you know, spring water. It is in bottles, right? Okay, it is in bottles. However, I get it in bottles. It, it gets shipped from Italy, right? And then I put it in glass. 
Now, I, I do bless this water also. You see, just because it's in plastic, you got to bless everything. I do bless this water also. The minute it comes here, I bless it. And I try to get it into the glass bottles as quickly as possible. That's why I got three of them here. Okay? And then I really... So what I do, here's another thing that I do. Besides my, you know, all of this surrounding it with love and, and, you know, not only that, but of course I have a ritual for eating and drinking also. Every time I drink water, I sit down and focus on the water and I drink it. The other thing that I do is right around this area you just saw, when I leave the house, this is what I do, okay? When I leave the house, I go on YouTube and I play... Uh, I find like an eight hour, if I'm going to be outside the house for a while, I find like an eight hour classical music. And I move the laptop close to it and I blast it, I close the door and I leave. And so it's in hours and hours of beautiful, divine music that is being taken by the water, being taken by the food, which is, I mean, I eat fruits primarily, right? So it's mostly water, okay? All of that is being soaked in by this molecule that, that soaks in information very quickly. It's not, it's not like it, it, it takes it in very quickly. Like I said, it's a blank slate. It's a nature's organic USB, okay? So <laughs> like I said, You've really got to do this yourself and experience it yourself. But I've been doing this for a week now. And like I said, best shits I've ever taken in my life. Uh, clearest skin I've ever had. Okay, my face is, is beaming. I, I can just see, I look at the mirror. I'm like, well, what is, what is, what is this? I feel that it's beaming, right? And it's, it really has to do with this. Because if, if your food, you take your, most of what you're eating, hopefully it is mostly plants at least you know even if you're eating you know say meat or whatever hopefully it's mostly plants okay that's mostly water so if you have a special place for your food and you really create a sacred place and you really bless it and you bless your water bless your foods see the nice thing about the bananas is i have a ripening operation here so they actually come in here and it's like they're guests here they hang out here they they soak in all this energy and like i say when i leave the house i just leave the classical music playing no wonder every time I drink, I call, it's holy water. I turned it into holy water with my rituals. No wonder every time I drink it, I, I start to laugh and giggle and feel all, all warm and funny. No wonder. No wonder I've taken the be I've been taking the best shits I've ever been taking in my life. Yeah, no wonder. Really. Okay. So part of uh, Dr. Masaru Emoto's work is they've shown the tap water and they've shown how deform the molecular structure of the water is okay it's like forget forget you you want to look at things from a higher perspective forget that whole chloride fluorine fluoride all that shit no 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 take take a step outside of of the of the physical into the the metaphysical into the spiritual and information because we live in a simulation so the the, the information that the water takes on its journey through the tap water and it's not a very lo loving one, let's say. It's not the same type of treatment the water gets here, okay? However, here's the thing, here's the catch. If you bring someone to you that is depressed, that is anxious, that is traumatized, they have PTSD, are they doomed to have PTSD forever? No, they can be changed. They can be changed. They, and, and if you're a high level, next level, person like Jesus, Jesus can take probably like just with one touch can bless you and can take you out, can clear you of all your PTSD. You see? Well, same thing with everything. I mean, remember, we live in an illusion. We live in, in a dream world, in Maya. So remember that in Maya, there's no, no such thing as constant. So you could even take your tap water, okay? Get some glass bottles, take your tap water, you know, it could... It, it could be really bad. It probably is bad, okay? Probably is like, I mean, let's be honest here. Like, it's one of the easiest ways for the authorities to keep us tired, fatigued, uh, exhausted, sick, depressed. Okay, no problem. We are magicians and we have the power to change things with our mind, with our intention, with our thoughts. 
take your tap water, okay? Don't, don't be like, oh, nasty, your tap water. No, 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 this is water. Water is water, it's blessed, it's sacred. It, it is, it, it, it's just, it's life, sun and water, right? It, so no, don't, don't have that attitude towards it. Instead, bow down to it, thank it, get your glass bottles, put the water in glass bottles, okay? Give it good treatment, let it sit there for a few days. Okay, I have three bottles because I want them to soak in the information as long as possible. So if let's say I drink a, a bottle and a half of those glass waters a day, maybe two, then the other one, the third one, has about a day to soak in all this loving energy in the music so that the next day I, I drink it, it's already soaked it in. So you get a bunch of glass bottles. Take out the, 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 all the whatever, you know, the, the, the labels. Put your own labels like I showed you. You know, I, I got the labels. Put, put your own thing, whatever it is. Something loving, something with nice intentions. Put create a sacred place and treat the water treat the food even like you would treat a lover okay so i like i act like i think about this uh, when i leave my house i'm thinking about the beloved my beloved here is the water and the food so i say how i want them to be happy let me play them some music so i'll, I'll leave the house i'll play some i'll put on some classical music okay and then it is no wonder that when I drink the water, I, I feel all warm and fuzzy. That is not a surprise. The water is a, is a very conscious being. And it, like I said, that the information, it, it picks it up very quickly because the water is not, it's more enlightened than us humans. For us humans, it takes time to let go. The water is able to let go very quickly. Okay? It's able to let go of, of old baggage, old trauma very quickly. So even if you're drinking traumatized water, just bless it. Sadhguru has a story about how, how he went to uh, a woman's house one time and he sensed that she was manifesting the Kali energy, very, you know, very uh, black type energy, dark energy, let's say, okay? And she offered him some water and he's like, no, I'm not going to drink it. And she's like, why? Did I poison the water? He's like, uh, no, uh, but uh, I already know it's poison. You, you've already done that before <laughs> or, you know, something, right? Then he took the water, he held it like this, he bowed down to it, he blessed it, okay, with his, with his intention. He gave her back the water, she drank it, and with, within, right away, she started to cry, okay? And I'm telling you, I drink this water, I start to laugh like a crazy maniac every time I drink it now. Because really, if you bless it, it, it very quickly lets go of old baggage, very quickly. Okay, like water is not as <sighs> troublesome and bothersome as us human beings. We have a terrible time letting go of old baggage and old trauma. Water will do that very quickly. So you can even take tap water. Hell, you could even probably, with, if you have solid intention and med meditative one-pointed focus, you could, you're, you could just put it in a, in a glass, in a glass uh, cup and just hold it, probably in a minute you could change its molecular structure completely. It doesn't even have to be over a day or something, okay? You just, if you have really strong intentions, you just do it right away. But I'm saying, if you want to make the process even easier, then you do what I'm doing, right? Just, to, you know, have like a special sacred place and, and really like fill it with love, fill it with joy. And I highly recommend you play some classical music for your beloved. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna here bow down to this beautiful water here and uh, the beautiful food that I eat, which is mostly water, also. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely do something with the rice experiment. I'm gonna run the rice experiment, I might even get a half that plant and try to raise it back alive just with words you know what i'm gonna go around looking for i'm, I'm gonna do some experiments this summer you know i got i got nothing better to do <laughs> okay i'm gonna run some experiments uh, but really the moral of the story is your intention you're a magician and your magic wand is your word you can either be going around cursing things or blessing things and everybody's doing that. Everybody's a magician. It's just most of us don't know we're magicians. We're not conscious of our ma magical power. And either we perform witchcraft or we perform white 
magic, either black, we're performing black magic or white magic, okay? And you would do very, very good things to yourself if you perform white magic on your water and on your food, okay? I wanna thank our Patreons for helping and supporting this channel financially. You guys did get me out of trouble a couple of times with the financial support, so I really wanna give you guys a big thank you and appreciation. You guys are awesome. And if you would like to support us on Patreon, if you would like to help me do this full time, I don't do this full time, I'd love to do this full time. I know I've been kinda of posting a little bit less videos lately because oh you know you gotta do things in life and everything but I'm trying I'm gonna try and go back to posting daily from now on uh, and I'd really like to do lots of things with this channel but I'd love to do it full time or you know right now teaching takes good amount of my time right which is god bless if I could just take it down a little bit and spend more time here, but I would need the financial support. And if you guys don't offer the financial support, it's cool. We'll still keep doing what we're doing. So I want to thank you guys. I want to thank everybody here watching and all the best. And until next time, may the force be with you.